Right, so, Ryan, sick of talking about this one yet? I am, I think. It's <laughs> nice to see gosh. you at a time other than 4.30 in the morning, by the way. Nice to know we exist beyond. <laughs> right. We don't go poof <laughs> after 7 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, so things are getting better, uh, but it'll take a little time, especially in central and eastern Maine. Yeah, but well, you know, everybody gets their turn with this one, right? Exactly, and they really did wait because yesterday it was just southern Maine that had the snow, and the places that had it all day yesterday Everybody essentially got a foot. Lyman coming in with 16 inches. That's the highest total so far. Bethel 13 and a half. Brunswick a foot. The official total at the jet port also a foot. And Lewiston about nine inches, but that was a few hours ago. So I suspect it's a little higher than that now. So what in the world happened and what did we miss? Well, the first round of this storm we were talking about was a warm front. It was warmer air trying to move in and bumping into cold, dry, high pressure. That's why there was nothing yesterday in eastern and northern Maine. The air was too dry. We thought that this high would build down a little bit, dry the air out, and we wouldn't get much snow during the day yesterday. We thought there'd be some light snow and flurries, but not the bands of snow that just sat over the state in this battle zone. And then thunder snow moved in late yesterday afternoon. And when that, can ha when that happens, it can throw everything off with an inch per hour snow, thunder, lightning, as a lot of you saw down in York County yesterday afternoon. But now Eastern Maine is getting into their share of the storm, round two pretty much playing out as we thought it would. There's just a lot more to clean up from round one. And it's a heavy and wet cleanup at the coastline because of the rain that mixed in this morning. It's like concrete in some places. Inland, it's a lot more fluffier. We will get a bit of melting the next few days, not a lot, but a little bit. Closer look at the radar now shows we've ended the steady snow over York County. It's lighter around Portland, mainly light around Lewiston. Still some mixing with rain right near the immediate coast along the mid coast. Bands of steadier snow around Route 2. There actually hasn't been a lot of snow yet around the Carabasset Valley, only a few inches. And you'll get a, maybe a few inches more as the snow will continue in the mountains only through tonight. Bangor, it's some bands of snow, so it'll be off and on through the afternoon. Rain near the immediate down east coast, but even around Ellsworth, I think it'll be cold enough for some slippery spots into the afternoon. 30 right now in Bangor, cold enough to be icy for sure. 30 in Waterville, mid 30s along the coast, but we won't warm up a whole lot from here. Bigger picture shows we do have this swirl back to the west. We won't really get into these snow showers, but it will keep them going in the high terrain of the mountains tonight into tomorrow morning. So by six o'clock this evening, it's done in southern Maine. It's ending in eastern and northern Maine. Uh, tonight's a lot quieter, actually. Uh, we'll have temperatures that drop down into the 20s, so not a big flash freeze or anything like that, but there will be icy spots overnight into tomorrow morning. Tomorrow afternoon, a little bit of sunshine. We get back into the 30s, and I actually think Thursday is the best looking day of the week, partly to at times mostly sunny, with temperatures on Thursday getting back into the 30s to near 40. So a big improvement later in the week. As for this storm, though, these are uh, the end times. Another look at them. It takes until about 4 o'clock in central Maine, 8 o'clock in Bangor, and closer to midnight in far northern Maine. And one more look at the snow totals. We'll end up with 3 to 6 inches in Bangor, 1 to 3 on the down east coast where we have that mixing with rain. And what you have on the ground is what you're getting in western Maine. The accumulation finally done there. Here's a look at the next seven days. We have 30s tomorrow and Thursday with a little more sunshine. Friday, the next system comes in a few showers. Doesn't look like a big deal. We'll have to watch the tail end of that one, though. It could end as some snow on Sunday. Keith will be taking a closer look at that tonight, and we'll have updates over the next couple of days. All right. So, ready to get this out of here, Shannon. Yeah, absolutely. And then a couple of days of rest, and then we're kind of right back to it, huh? Yeah, it doesn't look like a big deal at the moment, but we'll keep an eye on it. <laughs> heard that yeah, before. Yeah, <laughs> true. You're right. Maybe I should watch my words. I know. Be careful. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan.